Well, drivers in Southern California are feeling the direct impact of Russia invading Ukraine. Gas prices continue to rise at record levels. The average cost for a gallon of regular unleaded in LA County is now 488. In Orange County, it's 485, followed by 480 in the Inland Empire and 486 in Ventura County. As CBS 2's Tina Ezzedine shows us, high fuel prices may linger as the crisis overseas continues. When will it end? Yes, they are outrageous, man. Yeah, the Los Angeles Long Beach area broke another record again today for the highest average. Uh, we are now paying 488 for a gallon of regular unleaded. So bad, tow truck drivers seeing a trend. Well, maybe that's why I do a lot of fuel calls at night because people can't afford gas. <laughs> <laughs> People, I do four or five fuel calls at night. You know, everybody wants gas. On average, you are now paying nine cents more than you did last week, 21 more cents than last month, and a dollar 14 more than last year. You know, paying almost uh, what six dollars a gallon. So that's that's pretty bad. And I think it's you know with the issue in uh, in Ukraine and Russia, it's only going to get worse, unfortunately. True, in part, Russia's invasion of Ukraine driving up gas station prices. It's where we met Leora filling up her tank. Obviously, I would pay less if I could. Her family from Kharkiv, the second largest city in Ukraine, where there is street fighting, residents staying in shelters. Dads are saying bye to their families to go to war. So, I mean, I'm very blessed and thankful to be here. And if that's paying for gas, it's okay. That's why I not want to complain. Putting the pinch at the pump into perspective. Then there's the issue of timing. We're entering this period of year with already elevated record breaking prices. The Biden administration imposing sanctions on Putin personally and Russia. But sanctions can take a long time to bite. Don't count on a price drop. It's only going up, unfortunately. What goes up doesn't always come down. In downtown LA and the San Fernando Valley, Tina Ezzedine, CBS 2 News.